Hello, and thank you for clicking on this video for whatever reason. I am TeamCrafter601, but you can just call me Ace. That's your part. And today I'm here with some ATUs. It has been quite a while since I made any sort of AT video. Um, but it's finally time for comeback stuff. They're having their comeback on June 16th. I'm so excited. Today we got... Um, an official trailer for The World of Us of Two Outlaw. I'm so excited about this. Um, I actually initially wasn't planning on recording my reaction to this, just because I like to um, keep more of this kind of stuff um, uh, to something that I can like enjoy on my own time, especially because uh, with my current situation, I don't have a lot of time to record. Um, but I wasn't, like, normally I would just try and, like, watch it on my lunch break at work or something like that. Um, but today I wasn't able to do that. And I don't want to wait any longer. And so, since I have the time to film right now, I'm the only one currently home. So that's, like, the ideal time to record for me. Um, so figured might as well just get a reaction out of it. Why not? Um, so, yeah, I am super excited for this. Like, from the the concept photos and the, like, the thumbnail for this video alone, I am so hyped. It looks like it's going to be so freaking cool. If it's anything like Gorilla was, like, the movement stuff was, it's going to be so cinematic and so, like, freaking awesome. I am excited. Let's not make this intro any longer than it needs to be. And let's get right into the World Episode 2 Outlaw official trailer. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's go. I've got captions on. Already, I can see that the aspect ratio for this is different than, like, their normal videos. So that is already very interesting to me. Let's, let's, let's hit play. <laughs> okay, and then, oh, this just makes it feel all the more real that Psyker's de have debuted because this is, a, this is our first AT's video where we have the Psyker's logo in it and sorry I didn't mean to pause but like that's just super exciting to me because I love both of them so much L let's go nope no pausing I, I promise I'll try not to pause I may really want to pause this in part so I'll probably like go through it again oh Prestige Academy. It's following the story, oh my gosh. Blue oh, Bluebird! Ah! Bluebird delivery. Ooh. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, they look so good. Oh! Ah! Hi, Wiyang. Ah! Ah! What's that? Hi, you know. This one Ah, <laughs> oh, freaking bro. Oh, and I get that. Oh, okay. Hi, jungle. Oh. Oh! Is that your song? Oh my gosh! Hi! Whoa! Dip! Sir, you guys have no right looking this good. I'm gonna get Tron. With a big. <laughs> Sorry, ATs is like one of my ult groups. Um so I get like like over excited for them. Um what I just did that I is something that I like to call verbal keyboard spam. Um Oh yes, I 100% need to watch this again. And I definitely need to pause the <laughs> That's that's what being excited does to me. Like I can't 
verbal anything. Ah. Oh, this concept is so good. You know, and you know, you know, Gorilla, Gorilla was my first comeback. It's like movement. It was like the start of an era and everything. It hit hard. It was like for my first like experience with a comeback. Like it was amazing. I'm actually really glad that my first comeback was at the start of an era and not like in the middle of an era or anything like that. Um, not that I wouldn't have mind, but it's just really cool having like my first comeback being at the start of an era and everything like that. Also super glad that I got to um like experience sector one as it happened because you know like sector one was something that they were that they teased at the end of answer and like i like i knew about that and everything and then like they te like they played th that again like in the trailers for movements and then when i when i finally like heard the beginning of sector one like i kid you not i was just like like i got to experience that and that was so cool but and then Holozia came out and that was a whole thing. And that was, like, just supposed to be a filler for between comebacks. Since, like, at first I was wondering, like, how, 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 that was just supposed to be a filler. Like, normally filler things are, like, not that ATs can produce anything, like, bad or not super interesting. But normally filler things aren't quite that intense like that super cinematic and everything like that because it was super cinematic and it was like it's probably my favorite like um AT's MV at this point because it's so good and then they said that Outlaw was supposed to be better than Halazia and like they just keep topping themselves like I definitely see that with Outlaw already and it's just like Ah, uh, I want to watch it again. Let's go. Mm -hmm, ciphers. I will be pausing this time. Six months on standby for this entry operation. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I want to take a look at everything here. I wonder if any of these are like... Um... Teasers for song titles. Despierta Technology, Dune, Night City Police Department, Wake Up, Interesting, Third Street, um, The World, or This World, Future Is Now, Diner, does that say B5, maybe, let's see if I can see what this sign says one more act something looks like chips i like i love how i'm moving my head as if like that'll help me see the screen better take away something oh probably fish and chips take away come on oh that says wake up too wake wake up something like that wake up i wonder if it says that over here in Japanese too. That's weird, the technology. That like Dune, Third Street, Future is now and Despierta. So those are all seem like they could potentially be like song title spoilers. Oh wait, was that a is that a, like a kangaroo or something? I don't know. They have so much in their lore that like I get like very nitpicky about everything okay okay we have prestige academy so high education the, the leader in high education so prestige academy this is something that like we saw in um like movement um i'm so excited that like i'm moving around okay i've got a lot to say uh so prestige academy is something that we saw in movement it had very much has to do with their storyline um, it was the place where all the students were, like, we mainly saw it in, I think, the first trailer, it was where all the students, they were listening to, like, the AI dude, 
remember like they had the yellow things in their ears because that's the last part of their storyline too i don't want to go like too much into it if you'd like me to do more of like a delve into storyline stuff um just feel free to let me know in the comments and i will see what i can do um I am very invested in their lore. I have done so much reading up on it and like have theories of my own and stuff like that. Um, and then at the end of Gorilla in that last scene when it's teasing Halosia, um, you see the kid like on on the screen. And he, like he's wearing like the Prestige Academy um, like uniform. He's from Prestige Academy. So what's happening with their storyline is that Prestige Academy is like the most prestigious academy, like school in Strickland, which is where this takes place and everything like that. Strickland is the world where like emotions and like art and music and stuff like that are not allowed. So, um, like ATs are like rebelling with music to kind of like wake everyone up. Um, and so if like in the diary entries um that came like in the album itself like in the photo book there are like diary entries in the diary entries it ended with like saying that they wanted to like infiltrate the prestige academy um and like set up mirrors and windows and stuff like that because that will help people to like um have like more freedom see themselves for who they are and like have that individuality that the government has taken away um and also, the kid, who is important to the storyline, he came to them um, because he, after he saw their performance, he, like, woke up, he used what's called a breaker to, like, sever his connection to whatever it was that was controlling, kind of, like, controlling their minds and whatnot. Um, and he asked them for help to save his brother, who goes to pre the Prestige Academy, which is perfect, because that's where they wanted to break into, and I'm seeing that in this. They're, like, staking out the Prestige Academy so that they can do what they said they're going to do in the store in like the diaries and stuff like that and it is super cool ah okay here we got your song okay and then bluebird i don't know what that is in my hands but bluebird like in halizia like a bluebird is very important because also because i saw something from i think it was kcon japan it was like the VCR from before they performed and it was them looking at like the hall the hall of versions of themselves in the mirror and then something exactly was happening I don't quite remember I only watched it once but then like blue feathers were falling everywhere and of course like in Halosia Yosung says something about bluebird and like the blue feather was the whole like Halosia thing bluebird flying in the sky the outro was titled bluebird and stuff like that I don't know what exactly is like the significance of it is, but I know it's important. So, each one of us has been waiting in separate hideouts. That makes sense because I saw somebody on, I think it was, I think I saw it on TikTok, saying that like it looked like with the concept photos that came out for each individual member, it looked like they were all like similar but different. Like with the gorilla concept photos, it looked like they were all. You could all tell that they were like one like set of concept photos but for these ones they all had the same vibe but were all like kind of different and that so this makes sense why ah i'm jinjin he's got a good we got blueberry jung we got pink mingi or at least i'm assuming because oh this kind of looks like a boat too they got all the ooh ha hong looks so freaking good like, Yo Song is like an alt bias of mine. He's like my alt wrecker, like my alt bias is Chan. But for for ATs, like Yo Song is my alt because since my last ATs reaction, um, San came out of nowhere and became a bias. Um, but Hong Jung is freaking. He looks like Hong Jung and Mingi like just concept photos alone. They look so freaking good in this man. He has a gut. I find that funny. And this this concept like the kind of like cowboy or purple cowboy pirates that are, that's what I'm saying for this comeback, but that in itself, oh my gosh, they look so good. 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 
Is that a pepper? That would make sense. I'll explain that in a little bit when we get to the scene again. You have no right looking this good, sir. Got. Mm -hmm. Mingi! Bro! And like in his concept photo and everything, he had a gun. I can't tell if that's what that is right there or not, but like. Mingi, sir! That's Mingi. Wanted. Two cowboys and cowgirls last seen. Chili peppers. Last seen at chili peppers and a wanted that are alive. Hello, yeah. None of- why do they all look so good? They have no- like I've said, they have no right looking this good. It's- it's not- it's not fair. Why can't I look this good? Now, he's been wrecking me a lot lately, too. And then we got Usan. We got Usan. Ah. Freaking Chaisan. You look- I know I keep saying this, but they don't- who gave them the right to look this good? Okay, so here- here's- here's my thought. Ugh, he's too pretty. So you see how, like, he looks like he's all beat up? My theory is, like, maybe that's- Oh, well, they just say it's been six months. So this probably doesn't hold up very well, but initially, before I saw this, before, like I said, it's been six months that they've been planning this. Um, my theory was that um, he he looked because he, he was the only one who looked kind of beat up, and my theory was that it was him because his whole thing throughout like movement and gorilla and stuff like that was like he he was the distraction. He was the one always running away from like the guards and whatnot. Um, like, yes, we see Song Hua doing that once, but it's just in the Gorilla MV. We see San doing that multiple times. Like, that's his whole thing through the trailers. That's his whole thing in the music video and stuff like that. So that was my initial theory, but now I don't think that holds up anymore because I said six months. Oh, yeah, that's... We got Yuno working on the car, which, of course, makes sense because... He was the one driving the fireworks. And then, also, he's he actually has a license. And then it looks like we got John Cole back there. Hmm. It makes me wonder if any of them recognized him as maybe it was your song or not. Outlaw Customs. Nice. Also, sorry, I'm just- oh, bleh. hi. Yep. You, sir. You know, really wrecked me during Gorilla, and like, I feel like he has a very similar look to when he did during Gorilla, and so, I feel like he's just gonna really wreck me again. He's always been one of my main wreckers. See, see, it's like a chili pepper, because- they did a title track reveal, and it's, um, Bounce, the K-Hot Chili pe like, like, the K-Hot Chili Peppers or something like that. Broke-looking pepper. See, let's bounce, because the title track is Bounce. You get it? Time to move in. <laughs> I think it's time. Freaking Park Songwa. Oh, you know what? It actually makes, it kind of makes sense that he's with the bikes and whatnot. 
Because he had the motorcycle last time in Gorilla. This video is longer than I was expecting it. And here's the Yos on the field. Ah, <sighs> he's so pretty. Sorry, he's so pretty. I'm not biased. That that's work, sir. Stop it. I need you all to stop, but please don't actually. But stop, sir. Not good for my health. Uh, he just don't. Ah, they look so good. It's not fair, but I'm super excited now. Just why is it like? All he's doing is turning his head and looking somewhere, and it's hot. Sir, please let me breathe. Ah, there. See, all he's doing is looking. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. This is my old. These are my old, so I'm bound to freak out a lot more. And then we got the Tron. Oh, oh that's so good. What the heck? Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm so freaking hyped. Ah, uh, and I pre-ordered a signed album too, so. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. Maybe if they do another trailer, I'll have to react to it because if I'm freaking out this much over like just this one two minute trailer, then I don't think I would be able to handle watching another trailer while I'm at work and trying to stay quiet and what's not. I do not think that would go well. Um. But, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, thank you for watching this small little video from this small little person. If you did enjoy, if you didn't, just consider hitting the like button. It would be much appreciated. And, yeah, keep an eye out for more 80s com content as the comeback is closer. Like I just said, I will probably do a, like, if there's another trailer, I might end up making a reaction to that. Um... MV teasers and stuff like that, I probably won't. Um, I'll probably do those on my own time. And then, of course, when they have their comeback, I will be reacting to it. Um, hopefully on the day that it comes out, because like I have multiple eight new friends who I know I'm really going to want to talk to. Um, and then it comes out on a Friday, which is actually perfect for me, because then I can... Because right now I'm trying to do album reactions, keep me, like, trying to keep album reactions to Saturdays when I have a lot more time. And so this comes out on a Friday, which, I, like I said, works really out for me. Because then the next day I can do an album reaction so I can quickly talk to, like, my 18 new friends about how good the album is and stuff like that. But, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Um, but, yeah, then I think with that all said and done, I will see you all in the next video.